Have you ever taken apart an old speaker and found a heavy, donut-shaped black object attached to the back? That's a Fairwrite magnet, one of the most crucial components of speaker technology. But why exactly do speakers use Fairwrite magnets instead of other types? What makes them so suited for the job? In this video, we're going to dive deep into the science and engineering behind speaker magnets, explore the special properties of Fairwrite, and see how this unassuming material plays a central role in producing the sound we hear every day. By the end of this video, you'll have a whole new appreciation for what's going on inside your favorite speaker system. Let's explore, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's begin with the basics of how a speaker works. At its core, a speaker is a device that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy, that is into movement, and then into sound waves that we can hear. This transformation happens thanks to the interaction of magnetic fields. When an audio signal flows through a voice coil, an electromagnet made by wrapping thin wire into a coil, an alternating magnetic field is created. This coil is positioned very close to a permanent magnet, and when the magnetic fields interact, the coil moves back and forth. This movement pushes and pulls on the speaker cone, which in turn moves air to create sound. The stronger and more stable the magnetic field of the permanent magnet, the more accurately the speaker can reproduce the sound signal. That's where ferrite magnets come into play. Ferrite magnets are made from a ceramic compound containing iron oxide, combined with other metallic elements like barium or strontium. They are known for being relatively inexpensive, corrosion-resistant, and most importantly, having a high magnetic permeability. That means they can support strong magnetic fields without being demagnetized easily. These characteristics make ferrite magnets ideal for use in loudspeakers, especially where cost and durability are important. But let's talk about why ferrite is chosen over other magnet types. Rare earth magnets like neodymium are certainly stronger and more compact, which might seem like a better option at first glance. However, they are significantly more expensive to produce, and they are also more susceptible to corrosion unless they're coated. Ferrite magnets, by contrast, are much cheaper to manufacture because they're made from abundant materials. They also operate effectively at high temperatures and don't require additional protective layers to resist rust or chemical wear. This makes them especially attractive for use in large-scale speaker production, where keeping costs low without sacrificing performance is critical. Another major advantage of ferrite magnets is their stability. They maintain their magnetism over time without significant loss of strength. That's important in audio equipment, where consistent performance over years is expected. Imagine buying a speaker that slowly becomes quieter or distorted just because the magnet inside is degrading. Ferrite helps avoid that problem. And even though ferrite magnets are bulkier compared to neodymium magnets, that extra size isn't necessarily a drawback. In larger speakers, like those used in home theater systems, public address speakers, or car subwoofers, the extra weight and volume of a ferrite magnet isn't a big issue. In fact, it can even help absorb vibrations and add a bit of mechanical stability to the speaker housing. Now let's talk a bit about the physics. Ferrite magnets typically fall under the category of hard ferrites, which means they are magnetically hard. They have a high coercivity. In plain terms, that means they resist becoming demagnetized. When you drive a voice coil with strong electrical signals, it creates dynamic and rapidly changing magnetic fields. The permanent magnet in the speaker needs to be strong enough not to lose its own magnetic field in the process. 
Fairright's high coercivity makes it well suited to this kind of application. Maintaining a stable and predictable magnetic interaction with the voice coil even under demanding use. Another important point is efficiency. While fair right magnets aren't as powerful as neodymium magnets for their size, they are more than capable of creating the focused magnetic fields needed for most everyday speaker applications. Manufacturers design speaker structures like pole pieces and top plates to channel the magnetic field precisely where it's needed, in the air gap around the voice coil. That efficient use of magnetic energy means that even with a fair right magnet, speakers can produce loud, clear sound without needing an enormous power input. It's also worth considering the environmental and geopolitical aspects. Fair right materials are widely available and not subject to the same supply chain constraints as rare earth elements. Neodymium, for example, is mostly mined in specific regions like China, which can lead to price volatility or supply issues. Fairright avoids this problem entirely, making it a more stable and scalable choice for manufacturers building millions of units. And as sustainability becomes more important in electronics manufacturing, Fairright offers an eco-friendlier alternative in some respects, especially since it doesn't rely on rare earth mining. Of course, there are scenarios where Fairright isn't the best choice. In portable or compact speakers where weight and size are critical, such as Bluetooth speakers, earbuds, or laptop audio modules, neodymium magnets are often preferred because of their higher magnetic strength per volume. But for traditional bookshelf speakers, floor standing speakers, or vehicle audio systems, Fairright magnets continue to be the go-to solution. So next time you're enjoying music or watching a movie with booming surround sound, take a moment to appreciate the humble Fairright magnet. It may not look fancy and it may not carry the high-tech appeal of rare earth elements, but it gets the job done reliably, affordably, and effectively. Fairright magnets are one of those unsung heroes of audio engineering that have shaped the way we experience sound for decades. From classic home audio systems to massive concert speakers, their contribution to the world of acoustics is deep and enduring. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.